We have a question from Caesar. You mentioned the importance of focusing on the gluten hips for elite performance, body part focus number one, and you gave us some exercises to that effect. Hip thrusts, clamshells, squats, deadlift swings, snatches, cleans, prowlers, sled pulls, and hill sprints. That's pretty good. My question is, what would be body part focus number two, or even number three? We'll just stick with two for this time. You'll have to you will have to answer three some other time. And how would you organize them into a training program, perhaps three days a week? Also, earlier on the podcast, you mentioned that little and often on the long haul also applies to fat loss. So I wonder if this could be interpreted as the opposite to intermittent fasting by eating small amounts every four hours or so. What do you think? Eh, I'm not a big fan of uh, eating every few hours anymore. Used to be. Uh, my fat loss knowledge comes from... Uh, Clarence Bass, here's his whole collection of books right here. And the number one thing I've learned from Clarence Bass is, well, so Art Devaney said it probably best, and everyone wanted to kill him for saying it. Question, what's the best way to lose body fat? Answer, don't put it on in the first place. Clarence's idea is this. It's very difficult to lose a pound, uh, 0.5 kilos of body fat. Very hard to lose it. So when you lose it, keep it off. And to lose it, it might take, it would take him up to three weeks in some cases. I love the one story he has about getting ready for a, a, a shoot, a photo shoot. And he said to himself, my God, I got a call. We need you to do this in three weeks, not six weeks. Holy cow. That's what he did. He eliminated one piece of bread every day and added 15 minutes to his walk and lost the pound of body fat easily. And I look back on that. And to me, um, that's how you do things. It's going to take a while to lose body fat, as I've discovered in my life. Biggest mistake ever I ever did was listen to those idiots who told me to do high rep back uh, to do heavy back squats and eat more carbs. My body hated it. I, it hurt me. It made me fat. Probably made me stupid. And uh, I've been dealing with that since I did it, and I had nothing but regrets. Now, getting back to your, the real question I want to answer of yours is the body part focus number two. Dr. Mark Chang told me when I first met him that the Chinese medicine, they call it the four knots. The hips and the shoulders are the four knots. And they want to be loose enough to untie and tight enough to stay together, just like your shoelace knots. And I thought that was brilliant, and I still do. So we, body part number one, that's your hips and butt. So that is all the things you said. Hip thrust, clamshell, squat, deadlift, swing, snatch, clean, prowler, sled pull, and hill sprint. Body part number focus number two is right here. And the answer in my world would be press, 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 press. Uh, Roy Kent, press, you know, uh, press, press. Uh, single arm press, double arm press, military press, 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 press. press. And then the other thing would be doing vertical pulls, pull-ups, chin-ups, whatever you can do. Now, somebody's always going to say, what about rows? Well, the problem is most people, when I look at them doing rows, it's uh, it's Olympic, it's explosive, jumping, crap, hurting your lower back, crap, crap. And they're, they're brutal. And then someone's going to say, what about that machine at the gym? Well, good. You are at a gym with a machine. Good for you. Use that. That's perfect. But for the rest of us, press, pull up, press, chin up, uh, press, 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 pull up, pull up, pull up. Um, yeah, there's other stuff, sure. Uh, I like suspension trainer work. I like the T's, the Y's, the I's. I like doing uh, push-ups on those parallettes. I like doing dips. I like this. I like that. Shoulders and hips. Get yourself, get yourself as strong in the vertical press as you possibly can and get your glutes through the roof and you'll be a happy, happy person and you'll look good, you'll feel good, you'll perform very, very well and I think you'll be a happy camper. Yeah, so um, as for a training program, you can see why I love the Olympic lifts. I mean, go back to the original Olympic lifts. Clean, press, squat, snatch, clean and jerk. I mean, you just... It was glutes, glutes, glutes. I mean, even look at the power lift, uh, you know, uh, you know, squat, bench, deadlift. It's the same thing. And that's why people get away from those sports and they try to, you know, they come up with all these idiot hybrid sports. I'm the best at, you know, whatever, you know. Uh, I, I, 
I jogged a mile in 14 minutes and I did three pull-ups. Aren't a swell boy I am. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did crappy mixed with crappy. Now go to a powerlifting week, put the weight on the floor, deadlift, and that's where we'll find out how strong you are. Uh, hats off to my friend Steve Fried. It's right there, by the way. He just pulled a massive deadlift at a very, very small dead, uh, body weight. Um, if you can clean and press and snatch uh, body weight over your head, uh, you're strong. I don't care who you are or where you are. So you can see why I think the Olympic lifts and the power lifts are so good. You can probably see why I think the kettlebell work is so good because the swing, the snatch, the press work, it's its all training this stuff. And, of course, the brilliant goblin squat. And a good question. I, I like that. And if you want to follow up on that, get ask again. I'm not sure I'm going to have something as important as the hips and shoulders, but uh, I need a few weeks to think about it, okay? Oh, and by the way, the way I teach uh, the area between... So here's your four knots, and I teach this as being a chain link fence. This is just a chain link fence. It's very strong, very flexible. And that's that's kind of this image I'm using. Okay, I'll keep going because you know, well, I'm, I'm on. Uh, and then with the knees, I teach it like, from my friend Bike James, I got this. The knees are like uh, mountain bike wheels. You know, you lean into turns. And the hands and the feet are mini tramps. So my perfect human being would be mini tramps on the feet and hands, uh, uh, mountain bike tires for the knees, four knots and chain link. And there you go. That's that's there's my there's my perfect athlete. Maybe I need to spend more time uh, working with androids and robots or something. Wow, that uh, that was great.